iXflow brings the digital soul of BMW to the exterior. By changing the color of the entire car, we're bringing personalization to unforeseen levels. The technology behind the BMW iX Flow is color change, e-ink. Picture a piece of white paper in your hand and this white paper turns black. BMW is premiering the use of e-ink in automotive and we see a number of benefits for our customers. The first is personalization, self-expression. You choose the clothes you wear in the morning, you choose your social media status, you choose the color of your car. Another benefit of e-ink is we can show information on the exterior of the car. We can show you the battery status, we can show you if a car sharing car is free or if it's been cleaned or if you've lost your car in a parking lot. We can make it flash and then you can see it in your peripheral vision. A third reason to use e-ink in a car is a functional reason by changing the color of a car we can influence sunlight reflection and thus influence the thermal properties of the car to support our sustainability goal. It works by sending an electric field to activate the white or black pigments at the push of a button. While it looks super cool, you're probably wondering what's the purpose of this? Well, BMW says it could be used to change colors during hot summer months to make it white and reflect the heat. Right now, the car was only changing between white and black on the body of the car and even on the rims. But maybe in the future, we'll see different colors. While it looks great, we worry about the quality and how durable this type of paint could be. The tech behind our uh, iX Flow is e-ink. So it's the technology we know from e-readers. It's um, a wonderful material because it's low energy. You only need a little bit of energy to change a color and it's bi-stable. You need no energy to hold a color. And it's, it's real color change that's happening there. There's light, there's no overlay, there's no light in the sun as color is as the Kindles are. It needs the color changing layer from a Kindle and it's not a screen, there's no TFT behind it. It's really just a, a color changing layer that we're, we're controlling here. So we have controllers in there and it runs off the car battery at the moment. We've had the rims going, there are a little power bank. So it needs power, of course, it's electricity, but not much. So we're talking about you know, 15 volts, um, milliamps, and it needs no energy to hold its state. That's the wonderful thing about bi-stability. You need no energy to hold any state. The idea of an e-ink car started a few years ago with the technology itself. I held the technology in my hands, I knew it was something special, something different, and that I'd try my best to get it into our products. The steps involved in making an e-ink car largely focus around getting something that's very 2D, like e-ink, it's like quite a stiff cardboard, to something that's very 3D, like our cars. So we take the car as a large 3D object and we break it down into sections. Once we have these 3D sections, we unwrap from 3D into 2D. When we unwrap, we use computer-aided design. It's important that we maintain information about the curvature of the car at the important points. The first is personalization, individualization. You decide what you want to wear, what your social media status is, and you can decide what your car looks like. Secondly, information. E-Ink could help us portray useful information externally. The status of the battery or you can't find your car, we can reflect. And uh, when you see it in your peripheral vision and you know uh, where to go. The third use of E-Ink in automotive is a functional use. Through color, we can control sunlight reflection and thermal properties. We can change the entire car to essentially support climate control and to save energy. With this project, the iX, what we essentially have is a lowest resolution possible, a single pixel car that changes in time.